Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. You all, I am so grateful and excited that I am partnering with the F40 C4 TMP brand to review their 30 quart, 28 liter refrigerator. I have had my Alpacool fridge for over two years now and it was running just fine, but I have to tell you that when I received this one in the mail, I couldn't believe how much nicer it was just right away. So I have not have a, had a chance to test it yet, but this video is going to be like my first impressions, just kind of looking at it, just gauging what I see and doing a quick size comparison between this and my 20 liter Alpacool fridge. So let's get started. Here is my new beauty. The first thing, oh, there's some Winston hair. The first thing that I love about it as opposed to my Alpacool 20 liter is the top of it. It's nice and flat so I can actually set things on it. It has this uh, ridged surface as well as some cup holders. How nice is that? So I love that the top is really versatile. You can even use it, you know, outside of a vehicle while you're camping to put stuff on. As you can see, I still have the stickers on it because I haven't had a chance to use it. But I also really like that the colors match the interior of my van really well. So that is something that's really nice too. When I open it up, the lid opens so much easier than my Alpacool. I can actually open it with one hand. And as you can see, I put just an empty um, 12 pack of beer in here so you can see how big it is. So automatically it fits a 12 pack and then um, it has this other container for food or whatever, but you can also take this divider wall out to make it one big unit. Oh my gosh, I just, ugh, I'm obsessed with the versatility. If I can put this in, there we go. So again, the space, the ease of the lid coming up automatically just makes it incredibly great. And I also love how they put this little guide on here so you can see the temperature that you need your food or your drinks to be at. So as a solo van lifer, this will be more than enough space for me in Winston. At first I was a little bit overwhelmed by the size of the box. I thought it might be too big for my minivan camper, but I actually think this is going to work out really well. Now I will show you what it looks like next to my Alpacool 20 liter fridge. Here's the size comparison. This is my Alpacool 20 liter as opposed to my new fridge, which is 28. So as you can see on the Alpacool, although you can put stuff on top of it, it's, it's curved. And also I've never been able to open the lid with one hand. It's always been snug and difficult. So the fact that I can just lift this up like that is it just really makes an incredible difference. The also, the other thing that I found interesting was even though this is much bigger, it seems like they weigh the same amount. Um, so again, this is two years old and I know technology gets better and better, but they weigh about the same. So why, I mean, so yeah, I, I was just happy about that because I'm not the strongest person in the world, um, but for a bigger fridge that weighs the same, I'd say that's, uh, that's pretty good. Something else I noticed is that the handles on the Alpacool do protrude out which could make a difference in the spacing. And um, the F40, they don't. They are recessed in, which is, which is just really helpful. Again, that is a space saver because in a minivan camper, you are limited on space. So to have that extra inch makes a difference. It did come with all of my cords and such. So it looks like I have uh, several options. Again, I have not tried the fridge yet. This is just first impressions, what I'm seeing from the looks of it and the side, cause we have, there's vents on the front, but there's, as you can see, but they're on the side as well, which is nice. And the placement of the plugin is the same place as the Alpacool. And now I just kind of have to play around with it and figure out where I want it to sit in my van. I'm contemplating moving my fridge back behind my passenger seat because I also got a new toilet and the toilet I got has a flat back instead of being like an oval. 
yes I got a new toilet with a lid and this one even has a place for a hook for toilet paper so I will talk more about that later but by having the fridge up against the passenger seat I can put my toilet uh, flush against Winston's bed and still have floor space available for both of us so I'm thinking that might end up being the best setup because this one is a little long for me to fit it right here where my Alpacool fridge was previously located. The next video I make about this dope fridge will be the review. I have yet to plug it in. I have yet to test it. That will have its own dedicated review, but I'm so excited about it that I wanted to share these first impressions with you um, because, you know, Christmas is coming up. So if you need to ask Santa for a present or want to treat yourself, this might end up being a great option. But I will let you know in the full length review, which will be coming in the next couple of weeks. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for info about my new toilet and some other Black Friday items I am purchasing for my van. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.